All right, everyone, this is going to be an uncut drawing video targeted for AP art. Um, going back to drawing fundamentals. Um, it's Inktober and Inktober is a great time to work on form, right? Making something look 3D, a full range of value, value, right? So value is lights versus darks, working on these fundamentals. And I'm gonna just zoom in so you can see what I'm writing. Um, so these are elements of art that we need to see in all AP drawing portfolios. Um, and mark making, which is also shading. And AP art, uh, they like to see like different kinds of shading. So in order to get started, um, with this drawing session. Um, we're gonna draw an armadillo um, and an eagle. This is my Inktober mood board. Um, but I'm gonna pick two of my easier ones. Sorry, my bad. Judging me already. So armadillo and eagle, not that they're easier, but I don't wanna put as much conceptual planning into them. I'm just gonna like use these two uh, to practice drawing. The others might become my inquiry, um, part of my inquiry sustained investigation. So I'm going to try to do this in under an hour. But um, what I'm noticing is like students hesitating with making a variety of mark making. So I'm using a uh, precise pen. And let's just warm up by going dark to light, dark to light. And what I want my students to notice is you can do different kinds of line weights, dark to light, with a pen, right? So I'm kind of like fading out with the value. And let's go light to dark, light to dark, light to dark. And let's also practice um, what I like to call ellipses, but I think the kids are calling them something else. And ellipses is basically like an oval Right, but then we're really pressing down with the light weight, um, the line weight, like on the bottom half. You can also have the top half be the heavy part. Um, but the, the misconception is that I'm just doing squirrelies, right, when I'm warming up. That's not what it is. I'm kind of like doing an oval, which can like lead to drawing a cylinder. So I'm just practicing doing that shape right, and by lifting up my pen, this can lead to curving, uh, the ability to make curvy hatching quicker, right? And then you can start to develop, you know, cylinders with a variety of mark making because you're practicing with these ellipses. So a bunch of ellipses stacked up could become an arm or some kind of 3D form, which I'll try to show. Now, also as part of our warm up. Um, let's make a fast value scale with a variety of mark making. So everyone notice like how fast I'm doing this. I'm seeing a lot of people hesitating. We don't want to hesitate and that's what Inktober teaches us. Okay, let me divide it in half because it's going to go to 10. Okay, I'm just eyeballing it. Oh, that's four. Problem solve. That one will be a little bit skinnier. Um, actually, no, let's do this. Okay, let me, now my numbers are messed up, but I'm not tripping. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's 10. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I watched my dad draw like this when I was younger. Like he wouldn't hesitate. He never drew in pencil. He always drew in marker or pen. Um, and what, what we're doing is we're trying to like work like quicker and more efficiently with our SIs. So zero is white, i.e. no value. Zero is white, i.e. no value. And then 10 is black, the epitome of value, like so much value. Value to the 10th period. Okay. So let's just review a variety of mark making. There's hatching, there's cross hatching, right? And then there's, I mean, there's scribbling, right? And I'm slowly going dark, right? 
So they're scribbling. Right, and then if you have more lines, heavier line weight, then it becomes darker. And then there's stippling. So the more layers you add and you keep working at it, the darker it gets. All right, so how much room do I have? Can I show value with mark making? Now think about how many lines I've laid on the page in the first I don't know, six minutes. I can't see the timer on the video. That's going to be a problem. Um, I'm doing this uncut, hoping that my AP kids watch it. Right, And now I'm getting super dark. So it's just sort of like, oh my gosh, how am I even going to get darker? Maybe I add in more scribbling. Right, And I don't know if I can go to eight, nine, or ten. I don't know. Like, how's that possible? That's when we bring in like the very, very special other tools to maybe even go darker, something like a marker. If you have it, if not, no worries, right? But a marker and then layering this on top of that may bring it down more. Right? And then maybe you're even going to go black for your 10 because it's hard to get totally black with a pen. You'd have to color forever. Um, right, so maybe I'll give you guys some markers for this warm up. And then I don't know, how am I gonna get this nine? Go crazy, scribble. See how the little white gaps, that's like optical mixing. It's not dark enough. Let me bring this down. Right, and this is just a quick exercise. I haven't got into the whole point of the video, right? Maybe I could do some scribbling on top of that. Right, but just practicing like slowly going down with ink, right? Because ink, we're not afraid like of messing up. We're just going for it. Okay, there we go. This is okay, but it's a warm up. Okay, so just to review, I reviewed line weight, um, ellipses, like different kinds of mark making, scribbling, Right, and you want a full range of value. We're not seeing the full range of value in all of the SIs. Like a lot of SIs that are still just kind of stuck in pencil land. Right, we can't be afraid, we just need to go for it. Okay, fast sketching. Okay, so that's our warm up. Right, and this is gonna be an uncut video because I don't have time to edit everything. All right, warm up with ink. Yeah, cool. Okay, now um, hopefully you're working with some heavy weighted drawing paper, right? Okay, so let's get to the whole thing, like armadillo. Am I still on, am I still filming? I think the ticker's still moving. Um, This video is really, yeah it is. This video is really amateur, Miss Kaka. Hey, dude, I'm trying. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out a little so you can see my reference image. Huge issue um, in my current AP drawing class. Kids aren't always working with a reference that I can see. That's like a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna start with armadillo because I think it's just a great exercise in how to use form. No pencil today. So I'm gonna go through like all of the different things that I am thinking when I am drawing something as random as an armadillo. So uh, number one, proportions. Um, I can hear my daughter. So what do I mean by proportions? Like how big is something in relationship to the other thing? So like how big are these ears? These ears are little and I'm making them damn big. Already I wanna shrink them. Right, so I can make adjustments with ink, right? Cause I'm just putting down like little marks to kind of like show where I'm going. And as I'm like doing like an overhand grip, I'm not so afraid. Now I know you're like, ew, ew. So I'm thinking about proportions, right? I'm just gonna like throw out words that I'm thinking about my process, right? Proportions has to do with size. 
right? And we think about like, you should know the basics with facial proportions. How the heck do you know the basics with like an armadillo proportion? I don't even know. So this old snout is like hella long. Why does Inktober have us draw things like armadillos? So we're not afraid. It's like, well, how can you mess up an armadillo? We're afraid of faces, but like, how can you really be scared of this guy? I mean, look at him, he's so cute. Okay, now my ellipses are coming into play, right? But I just feel like I misplaced the eye, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh, I made a mistake. No, I'm not gonna trip, right? That can become part of my shading. Okay, so I'm thinking about proportions, right? And like, basically like um, points, you know, reference points. And I'm thinking about value. Right, so where is my darkest dark? Where is my lightest light? I mean, the background's pretty dark. So Inktober forces you to think like a painter and bring down your value right away. And already feeling like, okay. So I'm thinking too about negative space, negative space. So what I mean by that negative space is the empty space around an object and the angles. Right, so this this is kind of like at that angle. So I'm going up and going down. And I may not be able to fit the whole armadillo in. Hey, Sophie. Say hi to YouTube and uh, AP Art. And I don't know if anyone's doing extra credit. AP Art, drawing. Okay, so dropping down. Um, the reason I wanted to do this picture and I'm, I'm sorry that my armadillo is running off the page, but I gotta keep going because Inktober forces you to keep going because of the deadlines, is I love that the light is coming right here. So I'm thinking about light source. Okay, now notice that we got ellipses going around the armadillo, right? So this is his eyebrow, right? This is my reference point. Right, and then we got these ellipses coming around, but I'm gonna put in some of my darkest darks first. So you always gotta think about background, right? Cause that determines the value of something. So bring this down right away, don't hesitate, right? Think about time. Now I'm noticing an error. By like thinking about value, I'm realizing, oh my gosh, this humpback comes up even higher, right? So this humpback comes up even higher. And I'm also thinking of like the shapes of the values. So these are all the like thoughts are going through my head. So this is like a medium value, right? So I'm thinking about value, lights, mediums, mediums and darks. And I'm noticing that this is a medium value right here. So I'm gonna start to put in some of these ellipsy curves, right? So this is the curve going around. And I, th I noticed that because of the background. Maybe I can make this a little bigger. Now notice I got ellipses inside of here. So like these little like curves help his ear to bend. Now I'm also thinking like, notice how I have short and long lines and different curvy lines, right? Okay. So notice, I really want you guys to do this because like, okay, so notice how how the ear, like the different parts of the armadillo are bending in different ways. So like notice how the hatching changes, right? And then we got this part bending out. So we see his ear kind of bending out. So I'm telling the story of his ear. Hey, Sophie and the texture. So maybe I'm gonna add some scribbling in. And now I really feel like I get a sense of what's happening with this guy. Okay, now I don't wanna get stuck in a space too long. I wanna move around the page. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, so I'm just like, his eye is at a like level 10 value. So I'm gonna darken that. Oh my gosh, now I'm noticing he's got little hairs, right? This dude's got a beard, right? And so I'm kind of like telling the story 
of him. Look, he's got like these little teeth. Look at all this texture. So another thing that's going through my head, texture. So all the elements of art are just cycling through my head as I draw this dude. Armadillo contest. Does anyone know anything about an armadillo? Armadillo, armadillo. Okay. And there's gonna be a contest to see which AP art student runs out of their new pen first because you should be just constantly putting down ink, constantly dropping down. Okay, curvy, curvy, curvy. Okay, so shading creates hatching, shading creates hatching. Now I'm gonna tell the story of this dude's face and I feel like I'm getting stuck on his face a little bit too long, right? But yeah, I'm like speed drawing, right? Scribbling and showing his slimy but fine texture. Okay, getting the angle of his face right. No such thing as too many mark, too much marks. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, girl, how am I gonna put an armadillo in my SI? Right, but imagine when you draw your SI with emotional mark making like this. So I'm putting in my darkest darks. I got my black Sharpie or marker. All right, what the heck is this, right? Am I gonna trip about that? No, I'm just gonna put it in. Now follow the reference, it'll figure it out later. Because we gotta work on deadlines and this is a sketch. And sketches and armadillos should be fun. Okay, now so I'm, I'm it's not, it's less about getting the curve right, it's about getting the angle right. And then it goes up like that. This is how my dad used to draw cars, like choo, choo, choo. Okay, and then we got the curve coming around, and then we got some weird arse claws. Sorry, I don't mean to judge the armadillo. Okay, so just putting in little marks for Mr. Dillo. And this is kind of like, this is a triangle, so I'm looking at that space armadillos okay so I'm also thinking about um, line weight is this thing still on yes okay so I'm thinking about line weight right and line weight is how heavy heavy a line is Right, and so this line right here is like thicker. And then we got all these armadillo hairs coming up. Okay, I wanna st tell the story of the dillo, tell the story of the dillo. So what the heck, I mean, his snout just keeps going, right, but, oops, but I got the power, the power of an ellipse, right? So it's it's less about like what something is, like, oh, I can't, like draw a face. It's more about like getting the reference right, getting the shape right. Don't get caught up because I think we're like stuck in conceptual mode, right? But notice how much I can just do with a pen, right? I don't need an iPad to do this. I'm just working a pen. Okay, now I got all these crazy shapes. So maybe I'll put some of this web in. So repeating, repeating, repeating. Don't worry about getting it right, repeating. No one is going to mess up an armadillo's face. Okay, so this right here, now I'm thinking about value. I'm going back to value in my brain. And some little curvy ellipses, half curvy lines. Hello, curvy lines. And I'm showing that he curves around. Now, um, I'm going to bring down the background, right? So I can make a stronger judgment about his face. So another thing that I'm thinking about is writing it all out, boundaries, hard versus soft. There are hard ones, right? And that's usually the edge of a form. And there are soft, which is a slow change in value. And you learn this through practicing, right? You're like thinking about all these things through practicing. Inktober forces you to think about critical thinking, like, okay. Armadillo just colored the side of my iPad. I'm not gonna trip. I just colored the side of my iPad. I'm not gonna trip. <gasps> Hello, little armadillo. 
Oh, he looks so good. I want to marry this armadillo. Just kidding. Okay. So then his snout. Now I'm just, I'm noticing that his snout gets bigger down here. Ooh, let's make sure, right? Let's get that ellipses in, right? And I know I veered away from my pen. I'm just getting in some of these dark values. Ugh, I went over. That was, I didn't want to color that. That's a hard boundary, but I'm not going to trip. Okay. Putting in some of these dark values. Okay. Really getting stuck in his head, right? That's what happens with our drawings. We get stuck in a place too long. And this really is supposed to be a lesson about, um, like getting the values right, but it's really, it's hard to do that without bringing down the background, right? So if you have like a colored marker, you could bring down the background up here. But I am going to, because I'm short on time because I have to draw an eagle, I'm also going to put in these ellipses. So the light's coming in from here, right? So his, his booty's all light, right? So I'm kind of showing how his body's bending over and I'm noticing now that this is his foot right and it comes down and then it's really dark so the shadows of his foot are here and then the light is kind of like hitting his claw so i'm thinking about light right i'm thinking about where is the light coming from and i'm putting in dots for the shape of the claw right i'm dancing dancing around getting the shape of the claw Right, and then I got claw, claw, and then the other claws like up here, claw. So I'm not gonna color there. So I got three claws, one, two, three. And I guess I'm, I'm really getting stuck in the side because I feel like if I get the side right, and the shape, ooh, he's got another claw coming out here. And then it's curvy. So you notice more like the thing, the cool thing about ellipses and mark making is you're thinking about the form, you're thinking about how it feels, but you notice more about the negative space, the outside, if you're drawing the inside too. Oh, I don't have time to draw an armadillo. Well, look, we're doing it right now. I don't want to do Inktober. I'm not trying to make fun of anyone. I swear. And I swear, but I'm just saying, if you can draw an armadillo, like, who's afraid of an armadillo? No one. Are you seriously afraid of an armadillo? Okay, what am I doing? Remember I made a shape. Am I on camera? Okay. Remember I made a shape here earlier in the video. Like, okay, this is where my medium value is going to be. This is like right here, his back. Remember? Y'all remember? Anyway, um, now I'm bringing down the value all with my pen and the direction of my line shows me that his back is bending. Will I be the first to use a whole pen in a video? Can I use a whole pen in an hour? Okay, now I'm noticing, okay, this is pretty dark. I got to bring down this to match it with some cross hatching and some curvy ellipses to show that the ear is bending in. Okay, now this ear is bending out, right? And then we got flowers in the background. Okay, kids are like, what do I do with the background? Well, just dance around it and then let's just feel it out, right? Let's focus more on the form. And boy, he's got wrinkles. Can't be afraid of making marks. Okay, I'm gonna pick some like wrinkles to go down darker. Right, so I'm going to dark with the armadillo. Everyone should name their armadillo. What should I name him? If I were to name him after one AP art student, who should I name him after? Okay, fool's got a lot of wrinkles coming this way, right? So here, Inktober, how do I draw? An armadillo. The secret is ellipses. Okay, so I'm doing curve, 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 curve. 
And it's not like, oh my gosh, it's red. What are you doing? It's like, okay, well, the value of that red is kind of like a light medium. Like the red is at a medium value. So I'm bringing it dark brown darker. Now, if you're like, I don't know what you're talking about, Ms. Copera, talk to me. Okay, but now I bring this down so it's at a medium value. I'm showing how I feel about the armadillo. Maybe I can add some squirrels, right? To kind of get that texture in, but really light. So the fact that I practice those ellipses makes it possible for me to just do a bend, do an ellipse, pattern, 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 pattern. And then when does he start to bend the other way? Wow, the ellipses kind of go curvy at the bottom. Armadillo. Okay, then they're gonna bend down this way. So why an armadillo? Why Inktober? I'm not gonna do Inktober. I don't wanna draw an armadillo. Well, look, it forces you to get out of your comfort zone. Stop drawing anime and draw an armadillo. They get no love. Everyone's drawing anime. You know, Goku and all those people. What about armadillos? They got feelings. They wanna be drawn. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this armadillo and I'm almost ready to move to eagle. So I saved like the best for last, which is just kind of like putting in that form. Like this is the hard part, drawing this guy's face, right? But you know, now it's like less is more. Light value, circle, 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 circle. Cause like it's really light over here. This is where the sun's hitting him. Circle, 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 circle. Circle, 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 circle. And I don't wanna overwork this. To be honest, I kinda need to bring down the value in order to make a good decision. So I can't really make a decision or finish a drawing unless I bring down the background. So this is why I told you guys to bring down your markers. Hopefully you got my notes because I'm about to just go over them. Because what's the most important is making this Dillo come to life. And that involves drawing the negative space. So the negative space, I've seen a lot of kids aren't shading it in. Why do negative space? Why take this out? Because this is now a hard boundary. I'm like, oh, the fool's ear ends there. Now I'm realizing, okay, I need to bring down that ear so it's a little darker. And to be honest, this background, this value in the background is probably too dark. But I'm gonna drop down some of this marker over here, right? So I can frame him a little. I wish I had a green. I guess I have a gray green. So just, you wanna have a lot of materials at your disposal. So what am I looking at? It's hard for me to narrate and do art, but I'm looking over here. I'm just trying to show like that divide between the green and the yellow. Okay, can I fit an eagle in? Um, I try to do a couple of, like if it's, I feel like it's um, a quick Inktober drawing, I try to do two in one sitting because, you know, life is busy. Okay, and I'm seeing some super dark right here. So I'm gonna bring that down, make that a little darker. So like, what is the background but a bunch of values? Oh my gosh, and now I'm noticing this other dude's foot, right? So like this, I'm not overworking because it's like light. It's getting washed out by the white, but it's, it's not gonna be washed out unless I bring down the background, right? So I'm moving all around and I'm shading the negative space. Right? I have a lot of kids that aren't doing that. And it's like, well, how can you make a decision about mark making if you're not bringing down the background. Painters have to do this too. They have to take the time to bring down the negative space, right? So I'm like, okay, well, what am I working with? 
because I have a bit of a highlight here. So I should leave the top white on my duo. I feel like this guy's name should be David. I don't know why. He's like a David to me. Okay. Look at his foot. Okay. Who's going to worry about messing that up? Like, oh, I messed up my drive. Right? Well, I'm thinking about angles on the Dillo. Okay. So, his foot goes like this. And then he's got a triangle thing coming up there, drawing the negative space there. Then his toesy is like at this angle. You see I did the mark making with the pen. Shade, shade, shade. That's the darkest dark right there. So I'm always asking myself, where are the lights? Where are the mediums? Where are the darks? Putting in some other darks. There's all sorts of random contrast down here. Na, na, na. Okay, and then all of this is dark. Drawing the negative space around the toes. I could keep working at this, but I'm gonna give it a break in a second. And I say that because I know I'm gonna not stay true to it, but you know you're winning the drawing if you have a hard time stopping. You're like, oh wait, oh I can do this. If you're kind of like moving sluggish, then it's like, okay. Don't, you're too, you're too in your head. If you're being sluggish, you're too in your head. Okay, I'm just gonna bring all of this out of dark. So just negative space, drawing negative space, I would see would be a great, like huge important thing to think about with this Dillo. I think I just got rid of a toe on accident. Oh no, I cut off the Dillo's toe. Right, so this is all his cast shadow. Why am I putting black over here? Because I want to balance it. I got all this black here. Black is visually heavy. I want to balance it. Variety of mark making to show texture. La -da 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 -da. Okay, now all of a sudden, like I'm solving my background. A lot of times, I don't know. I feel like the background just comes, solves itself because of your reference photo. You know, it's kind of like, okay. You also have to think about how am I using my background to direct attention, like converging lines, maybe I wanna put in some dark values to get people to think about the Dillo. His feet look all messed up. He needs a pedicure. Miss Copero, stop being so mean to the armadillo. Okay, now he looks like his booty looks rounder because I brought down the background. Let me put in the sky. Maybe I can angle the sky and make the sky work, change the layout more so all of the converging lines are kind of going to his eyes, right? So it's kind of like the background, what is it? But a series of lines and values that directs attention or moves the viewer's eye, right? Background, right? So lesson and background, how am I gonna teach that? I gotta fix my iPad. Armadillo. Okay, last couple of minutes with the armadillo. Is this thing still on? What if it's not? Yep, we're still going. Um, I don't know. Can we use ellipses to give him a manicure? I mean, I can add in some curves. Let's do the armadillo's toes. Okay. Make it a little pointy, so add in some curves to show that so these are his toes. All right, but I'm not gonna overwork it. I'm not gonna trip about an armadillo's toes because I got a life, you know? I'm a mom, we got, we got stuff to do. I do our lesson plans. Okay, how am I feeling? Armadillo's toes, I'm not gonna. Okay, so I got white right here that's kind of balancing this. His tail, his booty's going off the page. Maybe I'll bring in some more brown. But like, okay, so here's my question. Like, does he look 3D? Do, cause what did I say? Like, are the proportions right? Right, he's got a big old head. I feel like his body should be bigger. I'm not gonna trip about that cause it's an armadillo, right? Does he look round? 
Like, do I have a full range of value? I don't know. He looks like, he looks pretty white to me. I feel like I could bring down some value some more, right? So I'm going to add in some, thinking back to my, my value warm up. I'm going to add in hatching, cross hatching, stippling, blending. And I'm also thinking about how I feel. Okay. Where's my darkest dark? Making sure his back looks dark. So this is medium. His big old booty is a big old sphere. That's why one of the reasons why I wanted to start our week with the armadillo, even though he's he's not right away. Changing the order. Let's get the armadillo out of the way. Okay, now that I'm bringing down the value slowly, I'm gonna cheat with this marker and add in some heavier lines. See? Gosh, that really helps. I'm gonna add in some bigger hatches. I'm gonna bring down. So you're kinda like bringing it down slowly, bringing the armadillo down slowly, shaving in. Look, I can add this dark value going towards the armadillo's eyes. Like, look at me, I am an armadillo. You will listen to me. What if I was an armadillo? Okay, so now adding in some more values to make him curvy. Squirrels, squiggles, expressive lines. Okay, now I'm going very light. Oh, and it looks like this texture is kind of like on his foot. He's got some warts on his foot. Right, but we've got some medium values coming up from under his booty or under his belly. His his body looks like a big booty. I, I'm I'm just trying to make my students laugh. I mean, who's gonna watch a video about drawing an armadillo? I don't know. Okay, thinking about time management, we talked about time management in the seminar. Sometimes you just need to let go of a drawing and let it be. What the Dillo is going to be. Um, I feel like I don't have the relationship down here, right? Well, that's another thing I think about, like relationships. Did I say that yet? Relationships. Like where is his tail in relationship to his leg? Like where is his big ol, where is his eye in relationship to like the highlight in his booty? Like, I don't know. So I got to work it out. Okay, there is quite a shadow here. So I'm gonna freeze on this because this is an uncut video. Are we still on? Cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna sign it somewhere, right? Because who knows, I may not get back to it. And life is short. Okay, so I'm gonna write, I don't know where I'm gonna sign because I got real messy. I'm gonna write armadillo and I'm gonna sign. I don't know what number this is, but I know it's coming up. Okay, so is my pen empty yet? That's one of the challenges. No, right? So good thing I have other Inktober prompts showing a variety of mark making. Did my warm up. Okay, so you gotta have your mood board ready for your SIs, like more SIs. So I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna do Eagle, cause Eagle's coming up. And for eagle, I thought it would be fun to kind of turn my son into an eagle, but I'm not gonna trip about that. I'm not gonna like get stuck on that. So I'm just gonna start with the eagle's face. I'm gonna kind of like go back and forth. Okay, eagle. Now that I'm warm, okay, so I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking about proportions, right? Okay, so how do I want this? I don't think I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do for a background. I'm gonna do a dot for the end of the beak. Maybe I'll make this smaller. I have a hard time working small. Okay, dot for the top of the beak. But I like having a big piece of paper so I have space for adjustments. Okay, now, oh, you don't see what I'm drawing, do you? Yeah, maybe I'll go this way. Yeah, okay, this is what I'm doing. And I'm thinking about the negative space, right? Like what is the shape of this negative space putting in dots? 
I want you guys to just draw in a new way. Don't be like, oh, that's not how I draw. I don't draw that way. That's not my process. Well, no. Maybe you will get faster. Dot, dot. Okay, this is where it bends. Or it goes like this. Okay. There's the beak. Right? Now, like, at the top of the head. His head is little. Right? Like, in relation to the beak. And then there's the head. Holy cow. Kind of like, okay, what is the relationship of everything? What is the angle of this? What is the angle of this? Like, nyer, nyer. so then I'm going to ask myself, what is the angle? Okay. Ooh, I tried to pinch my drawing. Did you guys see that? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back and forth now. It's like, okay, um, Miss Cooper, I don't want to do Inktober. I want to do my SI. Okay, well, wait, slow down. Maybe you could turn someone in your SI into an ego because like what does an ego represent but freedom so this ego looks all mad my son doesn't right so how can we change an image okay so I can't get all stuck in the eye right so I'm looking back at the eagles like eye how wide is the eagle's eye how wide is the eagle's eye and then it's not just the eye though okay you see I almost made a mistake I'm asking myself the shape of the value the shape of the value is kind of like a triangle. I'm going to darken that. Where are my darkest darks? Okay, but I also want to give it my son's character. So, I'm like, zooming in. Okay. And now I'm trying to get in my son's eyes. So, can I make this eagle half eagle, half human? I don't know. I wanted to change it. Okay, going back. I feel like I am missing all of this space right here. I feel like the eye, right? Making adjustments with ink. The eye for an eagle is actually way over here. Okay, and then that distance to that, dis this distance to here is shorter. So how can I solve this? Maybe the circle's more over here. Ellipses! Sorry, you didn't see me doing that on camera. Damn. So this is kind of, the eye is big on an eagle. Okay, so I'm gonna add in some stipples here to give me this like stitch, stipple texture. So why, why does Inktober have us draw eagles? Look, look at all of the different crazy marks right, that make that gray, optical illusion, optical mixing, curve, ellipses, curve, down and up. Draw in a new way, draw in a new way, dance around the page. Okay, can I give this eagle's face my son's smirk? Aha, that's Jacob's smirk. Like, I'm like laughing. Drawing should be fun. Kids are like, I don't want to draw. It's like, okay, well, that's AP drawing. What? I don't know what to tell you. Bruh. Bruh. Dude, she's totally calling us out. Yes, I am. With love, you got to draw in order to get better. Okay, ellipses. So I want to show that this is like curving up. What if you get a two on your portfolio? right? Not the end of the world. The bigger goal should be, did I get better at drawing? See, to me, like, that's what matters. Okay, I'm going to try to put in the angle of Jacob's, Jacob's eyes. So I'm going to, how do I combine the eagle's eyes with Jacob's? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing like drawing an eye. Angle, 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 angle. I know, and people are like, bro, this is a bunch of scribble, scrabble. Um, but I am not afraid, fear or love. Okay, ellipses. Okay. Okay, this is getting a little messy. Maybe I'm running my mouth too much. It's really hard to talk and draw. I could give that little smile there. Will you guys let me be quiet? I bet you you already muted me. 
Okay, light source. Where is the light hitting? Sorry for my cynicism, everyone. I teach teenagers. Um, okay, thinking about more shapes that are going to make this, like, identify as an eagle, right? Inktober forces us to just commit to a shape. So writing down more words, commitment, right? Just commit, right? Ink forces us to commit. And look, I'm farther along. You should be drawing most of class. You should be drawing. This should be like a warm up. Okay, I'm going to try to get Jacob's eyes and more. And then now hard boundaries versus soft boundaries, right? He's got brown eyes. So I'm going to add some hatching. Brown's kind of like at a medium value. Ooh, that was off camera. No. Adding in some hatching. Okay. Getting a little lost in the details here. So let's make this beak look round. Right? So we got a hard boundary here. Right? So I'm going to thicken the line weight. Can you empty a whole pen? Okay, this is a medium. This is a medium value right here. So I'm going to try to get that in. Okay, now, talk, thinking about dark value, dark, like, look, you got, like, I got to get some, clarify some, like, relationships right here. So his beak is kind of coming in here. Angles coming in, up. Okay. Hatching. So that's the bottom of his mouth. So I'm just like doing a lot of lines. Even though this is thin, a lot of lines to get the angle of his pet, uh, his beak. And then that kind of connects to his smile. Bro, why are you drawing your son? Why not just draw an angle? Because it makes it fun. All right, so what if you turned your mom into like a eagle, right? Representing her trying to like free herself from her like oppression of like body image, right? It's like, okay, well, what if we all just became birds and flew away, right? From it all, like flew away from like the poverty, the weight, right? Or, or is it, or does this represent the corruption, right? Like the eagle could be like a visual metaphor inside of your SI. Sorry, I'm not narrating what I'm doing. I'm just drawing like the outline of like the feathers. And I don't think I have enough space to get this whole eagle in, but do I have a full range of value? Did I do two Inktobers in one video? I don't know. We'll see if the video stops playing. Uncut, unedited. Okay, where's my darkest dark, right? Like over the eye, over the eye. I don't think I'm gonna give the eagle Jacob's hair because then it's just not gonna look like him. Believe it or not, the cornea of an eye is not white, right? but we have a lot of lines around it. So notice how I'm like doing light value, light value, light texture, da, da, da. lifting the pen off the page. That's another thing like pressure in your line, in your mark making, right? And length. And now like I really need to get in the texture of where this hair ends. Jacob kind of has eagle hair. Now, how do I get the angle of this head, right? I'm thinking about the angle. I don't know how many degrees that this is at, but I'm kind of getting it in. Okay, this video may have to end at any moment, full disclosure, because my kids are upstairs with my husband and I may have to stop, but I am doing stipples for this beak. Okay, I want to go from dark to light. So just like the armadillo, the light's coming in from this way. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Okay, this may be a little too dark. I may have like gone too far, but I'm not worried about it, right? Because if I bring down, value's all about relationships. So if I bring down this value, then it looks right. Notice how I haven't brought down the background because in my reference, the background's all light, right? So I may want to do that to help me clarify where I need to put in some hard boundaries. Because right now I don't know where the beak ends and where it begins, right? There's some pieces of the beak I haven't put in. So I got like this curve, this like really hard ellipse coming in here. And then this curve right here. Drawing is seeing. I want to see you see texture, like all the details. Make it look 3D, right? And then what happens when we draw humans? If we draw animals, then it's, okay. Look, we got this like dark, dark right here. Because I'm like, what is she doing? This I got this dark, dark here. And then it kind of, it's dark under his eye. Dark, dark. I lost my reference. Don't stop looking at your reference too. I'm looking at class and like kids like, they like have their reference out and then they don't look at it. They just look at their drawing and then their drawing becomes like an anime. Which is cool, but like... And you know, the AP, I was talking to the AP judges and they're like talking about their, their struggle with anime. They're, Cause they'll see anime and AP art portfolios and they'll be like, ugh. But it's like, no way, we can't judge anime. Don't be hating, Goku. Okay. Okay. So I got this curve, this curve, and then I have this dark shape right here. Now, can I blend out from the black with some mark making? I got to show the direction that the um, beak is going. Like it's curving this way. Curve. Curve. And this is kind of like like this triangle, now I got medium values. So I'm asking myself, where are the medium values? Oh my gosh, I'm about to destroy that on accident. So I'm like, okay, where does this triangle, the, where are the medium values? What's the shape of the medium values? It goes to there. So I'm gonna keep bringing in these little marks. Uh-oh, kids are crying upstairs. Kind of trying to like show the medium value. Okay, and then this shape kind of comes up here, right? So I'm seeing a lot of triangles. An eagle is a collection of triangles, one triangle after the other. And then I see another dark value kind of coming up here, and up. Just call me Eagle of the Morning Eagle. Does this eagle look like Jacob? I don't know. He's got a little bit of his smile. Like he knows stuff. This eagle knows stuff. So maybe like in your SI, the eagle, the eagle could be a metaphor for knowledge. Okay, now, if you have a dark marker, like a black, you know, you can add in very carefully, like some like thicker marks, right? And it's kind of like, okay, it's like darker here and then it goes up thin. Yes, you can get line weight with a marker too. Yes. So it's like B, it's like we have these interrupted lines and then da 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 goes dark. Da 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 goes dark. Da 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 goes dark. Like, this is so great about drawing an animal. I saw these animals. I was like, ah, the eagle and the armadillo, they're going to save AP art, right? And then this dark value continues down here. So like, where's my darkest darks, right? So I'm asking myself, I'm like, okay, there's this like big curve. And then there's this dark, dark here going around dark, 
going on? It's like, Miss, I don't want to do it. It's like, well, okay, yeah, but like now that you drew an eagle and an armadillo, my goodness, you can really draw a human. Okay, I'm going to add in some of some stipples. Stipples. Dot, 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 not a lot. Dot, 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 not a lot. Okay. Um, background. I don't know. Should I use my reference? I am slowly running out of time. I see, um, like mountains in the background. I like mountains. Oops. Oh my gosh. I got a text from Snap Talk and now I'm not on my reference anymore. Ooh, I just noticed some stipples. See? Always go back to your reference. There, I promise you, there's something you're not seeing. Okay, so I'm gonna try to bring in these mountains. Now you notice I'm drawing a pen and ink drawing. Yes, look up pen and ink drawings. Okay, notice how I'm going super light, All right? I'm gonna put another mountain there. Okay, so maybe my mountains can help to direct attention to the eyes and this stay on camera the eyes should be darker right what do I do for the background I don't know that's why you should have several references right several references related to like what am I feeling like what is the emotion related to my SI what are some words that I am saying you know so I would have several reference images right or the photo the photo will inform the background like you kind of just got to like discover the background so i'm going to bring down i'm not going to trip about these these mountains i'm just going to take a medium marker and bring down i i got to bring down the background why bring down the background because that's like an assessment to see if your values are are right on the form because once again, what are we focusing on with Inktober is like mark making and form. Like your stuff needs to be 3D, guys. Like are there lights, mediums, and darks? Do I see a variety of mark making? And then SI5 is due this week. Mm -hmm. Just call me Eagle of the Morning Eagle. Oh, I'm almost at an hour. Guys, I told you this video would be an hour. Can I go a little over? You guys are like, mm, no, bruh, bruh. Don't go over. I am so dead. But why are you dead? Why can't you be alive? Uh -uh -uh. So I'm bringing it down to like a medium value. The background I'll bring down medium medium value with this blue gray three guys I ordered these for you they haven't come in yet I know I think I feel like I should have ordered them sooner at the beginning of the year what was I thinking I'm sorry I'm not a perfect teacher but at least I'm doing this so we'll get markers out when you guys are doing this Right, and we could split this into two days. And maybe you're like, no, I'm gonna surprise Miss Copera. I'm gonna see this crazy video on YouTube and I'll come to AP Art with it done. Okay, well, my dad and my brother were car designers. They would like go. I mean, they still are car designers, but they would do these lines, like they would layer a lot of lines on top of each other. Okay, but I feel like he looks more 3D. Like, and I can make more choices. Okay, and I just lost my reference photo because I got some Netflix notification. Okay. So, um, no cap, no lie. I'm going to say, this is too dark, but oh well that my students complain about these markers going dead fast. It's one of the reasons why they're $15, right? And I wish they would last longer. Okay, so hatching with the markers, bringing it out. 
I don't know if I'm, I kind of wish I had left it white. Okay, but is my pen dead? Because that was the objective for the week. You would use a whole pen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to do hands in my next drawing. Stay tuned. Uncut hand drawing. I wonder if I can do it. Okay, but look, like his, his face kind of... Like, I want to give the freedom for, like, the viewer to be like, okay, well, maybe the eagle continues outside of the page. So just, like, the shape of my background is like, okay, how do I do background? Well, think about the background as being a way to direct the viewer's eye. Like, where do you want the viewer's eye to move? Like, so maybe you're adding a mark to go to the eye, or maybe you're adding layers to go around, right? Ooh, maybe I can add shadows on the mountains green on top but like the point of this video was you know a lack of fear fear or love right love right how do you how do you succeed in your art you love your art you gotta love drawing in order to feel good about it okay so now that I brought down the background the eagle like the armadillo is looking pretty white so I feel like I need to bring in some more hatching to show the direction of this eagle, to show his story, right? And more mark making, right? So what direction are the feathers going? Do, 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 do. And then his eye is kind of like extended. I'm gonna be interested to see if Emmy can use this video to make his characters more 3D. Like I just, I want to see. Okay, this has to go dark to light. Stipple, stipple, stipple. Stipple, 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 patience. Stipple, 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 patience. And I'm noticing there are stipples around the mountains too, right? So like background and form, like the point of interest should be drawn at the same time. You guys are gonna like finish APR. You'll be like, I um, don't know about my SIs, but I learned how to draw an eagle and an armadillo. But um, okay. So where is my lightest light on the eagle? Right. Well, it's kind of like everywhere, so that's why it's tricky. That's why like bringing down like this black, bringing down different values with the black is kind of key. Right, and that can help me to inform where I'm gonna do the hatching. So where, he's got like one main heavy line coming down this way, one main heavy line, and gosh, this is a big shadow. This is hard, now I, I really, this is like a number nine value down here, because the beak, the beak, wow. It's really casting some layers. Don't overwork the beak, Miss Copa. I'm gonna really bring down the eye. Whoo, okay, I'm, this, I'm getting tired. It's been an hour. You be extra, you be extra. Um, I'm just gonna add in some hatching, some little marks around these bigger thicker marker marks. Should I give a boundary for the end here? Maybe, I, I, to be honest, I don't feel like doing it, but I think I need to. Like show where, because doesn't an eagle like have a really like distinct end to its, I don't know, its hair? So let me go in. I'm gonna, just going to put in a hard boundary here so the end looks a little less messy. Oh my gosh, this marker isn't already going dry. Shut up. 
Is it? I'm just moving around. I'm putting this color everywhere so it's a little bit more balanced. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Just call me Eagle of the Morning Eagle. Hatching, 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 hatching. Okay, so the light's coming from here. So wherever I have one of these big old black lines, I'm probably going to have some hatching under it. Hatching, 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 hatching. Maybe I can make more of a hard boundary now that I established where all these feathers were ending by dropping in the background. And I can make more of a hard boundary around my white. Is my pen dead yet? Am I gonna get a four? Ooh, I just noticed like this line in the iris is thicker. And then it's real. yeah, I gotta bring down the value of the eyes more. Full range of value. And then bro's got some like bags under his eyes. Yeah, I don't think this looks like my son anymore. It just looks like the eagle. Who am I kidding? I really just need to spend time with my children instead of staying, I'm saying I'm drawing my children, which I'm going to go do now. I can, now that I did some lesson planning, keep the AP art kids busy. So I, a student what, like was talking to me about a drawing and was like, oh my gosh, you did that in 40 minutes? It's like, well, you have to think about a drawing in several layers. Like you can go back and work at a drawing. Ooh, I'm noticing he's got some dark values over there that I didn't put in. But it, it's kind of like you're dancing around the page and moving all over. Okay, so let's review proportions. Va like, how big is the beak compared to the eye? Mark making. We want a variety of mark making. Why? Because that helps us to like see how the eagle and the armadillo are feeling. Right? We want texture. Right? Things are feeling all sorts of different things. Okay, we're thinking about value. The beak's like at a medium value. Right? So I'm adding even more stippling more stippling maybe bringing down the mountains a little bit more to create unity repeating the mark making on the outside we're not get. we need to warm up more right Okay, guys, I think I'm done. I'm tired. I went over. Okay, so recap. We drew an eagle, an armadillo. We did a warm-up. I really hope you guys do this. Drum art teacher signing out. Uncut.